Good morning my dear friends welcome you all to an another interesting video fire pump pressure setting so as you see here we have pressure sensing line in the fire pump room and with the help of pressure sensing line either fire pump or jacky pump starts running to supply water or boost pressure in the fire firefighting system so the importance of pressure setting is when one pump runs another pump should not run for example if electric pump runs then the jacky pump or pressure and maintenance pump should not be started at that time so based on nfa 20 class a 4.27 a domestic water pump in a dual purpose water supply system can function as a means of maintaining pressure so most of the time we have we can see that uh, we can use the water supply pump also for the uh, pressure boost purpose okay because the nfa allow to use that one also and one important thing is jackie pump and its controller no need to have ul listing for firefighting works so there is no need to specially listed for firefighting it can be listed for other purpose like water supply system so now let's start the fire pump pressure setting the first one is the jacky pump so you can see the table pressure at the starting point and pressure at the stopping point okay so first here we can start from here pressure at the stopping point so it says that uh, you can see here the, the jacky pump stop point should equal the pump sun pressure plus the minimum static supply pressure okay so here we will see what is sun pressure so the sun or no flow condition is the fire pump must uh, must also not deliver over 140 percentage of rated pressure with the no flow this design point is sometimes called sun or no flow so like you see here no flow or sun flow means during fire condition for example during fire condition firefighting pumps starts running and after the continuous running of the fire pump water in the fire tank will, be, will become empty if there is a delay for the fire engine to come so there is a chance that pump will get overheated like mainly the impellers and this thing so it will damage the pump parts so after tank water becomes empty and at zero flow pump pressure must not exceed 140 percentage of its rated flow so we will see with one example so here we have a fire pump uh, with the rating 1000 gpm at 100 psi uh, like you see here so here in the x direction we have flow and in the y direction we have the pressure value okay so so sun condition as i mentioned at zero flow that means at this point the pressure must not exceed 140 percentage that means the pump curve should not reach uh, more than this 140 percentage okay for but for here in our case the pump pressure is at zero flow it is only 120 okay so that means this is the acceptable case so like it is mentioned here at sun at zero gpm it is 120 psi so like you see here we know that pump sun pressure now we got from the chart that is 120 psi then for, then we need the minimum static supply pressure okay so as per nfa 20 minimum static is 50 psi and maximum is 60 psi if you are receiving the water if you are using the water supply from the city main okay and second thing mostly in the gulf or uh, in other countries you can see we normally have the fire water tank uh, which is stored in the ground floor or basement from there we will use the uh, we will use the firefighting system so here what happens so if you have that type of arrangement like a firefighting tank then you can uh, use you can get the value from here for example firefighting tank located in the building where effective water level or height is 4 meter so we know that one bar is equal to 10 meter head so 4 meter means it's equal to 5, uh, 0.4 bar that is equal to 5.8 psi so 5.8 psi is the static head okay, static pressure so like you see here as per nfa 20 suction supply 50 psi from city that is minimum static and 60 psi from city that is the maximum static we need to consider so in this case i consider the minimum static as 50 psi and the sun pressure for our case it is 120 psi so total is 170 psi so that is the stopping point of the jacky pump so the next one the jacky pump start point should be at least 10 psi less than the jacky pump stop point so here 170 psi and 10 uh, i am going to reduce so it will be 160 psi for the jacky pump start point so the next one is electrical pump start and electrical pump stop so the next one uh, the fire pump start that means fire pump means uh, both the electrical and the diesel pump we will call as a fire pump jacky pump we will not say as a fire pump so the fire pump means the next fire pump that is a electrical fire pump so the electrical fire pump start point should be 
5 psi less than jackie pump start point so as i mentioned here the jackie pump start point is 160 psi so electrical fire pump will start 160 minus 5 that means 150 uh, 155 psi it will start so the next one is if electrical fire pumps fails due to power failure or other reason diesel engine fire pump will start so as per nfa for the fire pump uh, like electrical fire pump surely we need to have the alternate power okay but some cases that is also not possible uh, means uh, due to the fire okay so that time what will happen the next pump the next fire pump that is the diesel engine fire pump has to be started so the diesel engine fire pump starting point is 155 psi minus 10 okay diesel pump starting point shall be 10 psi lower than electrical fire pump start so it is 145 psi so now the question is what is the stopping point of these two fire pumps the electrical fire pump stop point shall be same as jackie pump that here the jackie pump uh, stopping point is 170 psi the same is the for electrical fire pump stopping point but the issue is but for electrical and diesel pumps stop points are considered as manual by most of the regulation if you go to Qatar the rule is surely that we have to have the manual uh, stopping point otherwise what will happen if fire happen if fire happens the jackie pump will start then after that if it if it if it couldn't uh, extinguish the fire then fire pump will start then it will extinguish the fire so we don't know uh, exactly that fire happened or not so that is the reason or, uh, that's the main reason so so mostly in the regulation they are recommending that to have the manual stopping point for the fire pumps so the next point is this process setting is based on to assure that the fire pump runs when it is supposed to and the jackie pump should not interfere with the fire protection the fire pump sensing line sensing system should be set up in this arrangement so when one pump runs the another pump should not interfere so the arrangement is uh, happening like this then the final pressure should not exceed the pressure rating of the system components so for example if the system is rated for the full firefighting system is rated for 16 bar at 232 psi the fire pump final pressure should not should be lower than that value okay to avoid the damage so this uh, different pressure setting is done in the fire pump and jackie pump controllers based on the project requirements okay so thank you for watching the video if you want any particular topic to be discussed in the next video please add your comment in the comment section so till then thank you see you bye bye